Hi, welcome to PR Playback. I'm Russ Ray, filling in this week for Jeff Hahn. And today is the final part on our series of the five types of reporter questions. We find being familiar with the types of questions that reporters ask in interviews can really go a long way to help you prepare and come out of there with a successful interview. So our question was from Ethan, and he asked about getting a spokesperson ready to face a reporter that has a reputation of asking tricky questions. First of all, most reporters are not purposely tricky. They ask straightforward questions. They have a job to do to get information, but you also have a job to do to get the message out that you want the audience to hear. So today we're going to be covering our final three, pushpins, hypotheticals, and offers. Pushpins and hypotheticals are tools that reporters use to ask or, or to try to get you to say negative things or put you on the defensive. Hypotheticals, pretty obvious. Questions like, so if you were in charge, what would you do? Those types of questions. Push pins are purposely designed to put you on the spot, put you on the defensive, and get you to say something negative. Here are some examples. If this store starts to lose money, how long are you going to be here? That's a rock-solid commitment. We signed a long-term lease. We're here to stay. Some of his legislative accomplishments. Well, uh, no, of, Senator, I want you to name some of Barack Obama's what? legislative accomplishments tonight, if you can. So I'm wondering if you think that they're uninformed, out of touch, or irresponsible. Aren't you embarrassed by the blatant attempts to register phony voters by ACORN, an organization that Barack Obama has been tied to in the past? I am not embarrassed by it. We are not tied to it. We've not paid them one single penny to register a single solitary voter. We have the best get out the vote operation in modern American history. We've registered the voters ourselves. So how do you respond to hypothetical questions or push pins? Well, first of all, don't be focused on the premise of the question. Think response, not answer. For example, the question there to then-Senator Joe Biden about ACORN and aren't you embarrassed? Well, he said the word embarrassed about five times in his response, making him sound defensive. If he would have led with his positive response to that accusation, like, we haven't given ACORN one penny, or we have the best get-out-the-vote campaign in American history, he would have responded to the negative, but only would have given the reporter positive messages to work with. So that's your focus when you are thrown a push pin or a hypothetical question. Rephrase the question into a positive. Don't use negative words. Finally, number five on the list of five reporter questions are offers. Pretty simple. In fact, pretty much a guarantee that every interview will end with an offer. Something like, is there anything you'd like to add? Are we missing anything? What else is important for people to know? A lot of people throw away what is an opportunity in these offers, but you need to leave them with something strong. So that's our look at the five types of reporter questions. Ethan, I hope that gives you some information that'll be helpful with your question. And we'll be back next week with another edition of PR Playback.